God's grace to mankind. Grace is the unmerited favor of God to mankind. It's free and for all. John 1:17 says, "For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. And from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing." It's the gift of God. Please subscribe to this channel to get regular prayer and please put your prayer requests in the comments below and the team will pray for you. We know that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Therefore since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God under grace we do not live with a sin consciousness but god consciousness in us christ the hope of glory lives in us in 1 peter 4 we find peter tells his readers to be faithful stewards of god's grace in its various forms using our gifts to serve one another He says each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms if anyone speaks they should do so as a one who speaks the very words of God if anyone serves they should do with the strength of God that God provides so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ to him be the glory and the power for ever and ever amen in 2 timothy 2:1 paul instructs timothy to be strong in the grace that's in christ jesus for if it is by grace it's no longer on the basis of works otherwise grace would no longer be grace if we earn anything by work then it is not grace grace is free we know that god opposes the proud but he gives grace to the humble let us then with confidence draw near the throne of grace that you may find mercy and grace to help in time of need paul prayed for the thorn of flesh to be taken away from him but god said my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness therefore paul says I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest on me. In 1 Corinthians 15:10 Paul says, "By the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace towards me was not in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them." Paul says, "Though it was not I but the grace of god that is with me god shows both mercy and grace mercy withholds a punishment we deserve grace gives a blessing we don't deserve in mercy god chose to cancel our sin debt by sacrificing his perfect son in our place he even goes further than mercy and he extends his grace to all in him We have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding he offers us reconciliation for God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in Jesus and through him to reconcile all things to himself whether things on earth or things in heaven and by making peace through his blood shed on the cross god has given us abundant life jesus says in john 10:10 10, 10, the thief comes only to kill and steal and destroy i have come that you may have life and have life to its full god has given us his holy spirit if you then though you are evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father in heaven give the holy spirit to those who ask him god has also given us eternal life 
In John 3:16 to 18, God says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned. Whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only son. So we understand that grace is God giving the greatest treasure to the least deserving. What then is our Christian identity? We can boldly say, by the grace of God, I am what I am. as it says in 1 Corinthians 1:10 what is our standing before god we can boldly say this is the grace in which i stand what's our life those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man jesus christ we reign in life by the grace of his life in us what's our holiness and our calling we know that god has called us into a holy calling because of his own purpose and grace what's the strength for our life god says be strengthened by the grace that is in jesus christ it's good for our hearts to be strengthened by grace how do we speak The Bible says, let your speech always be gracious. What leads to our serving? Serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. What is our sufficiency? God says, my grace is sufficient for you. God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that you have sufficiency in all things and at all times and you may abound in every good work what happens in our time of need we know that we can access grace to help in time of our need and when you have suffered a little while the god of all grace will himself restore confirm strengthen and establish you as believers We have received the grace. Let us continue in grace and testify to the grace of God. Jesus says, as the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. God's mission is to the entire world. God and his grace is everlasting. Set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. What's our Christian hope beyond death? We know grace reigns through righteousness leading to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The gospel of the grace of God, the word of grace is proclaimed from the Old Testament and you can see it ultimately revealed in Jesus Christ in the New Testament. Let's say a prayer. Loving heavenly Father, help us to understand the abundant grace bestowed on us. Help us to speak graciously at all times. Testify to your grace and run the race of life and faith. Help us to receive grace upon grace from your fullness. Amen. God bless you.